Right now on Thornton 360, a look at the unofficial results from the November election, and Thornton Police add a new force to their fleet. Thornton 360 Public Safety Edition starts right now. Hello, I'm Todd Barnes. The November 12th City Council meeting was canceled due to lack of a quorum. We can provide the following news regarding Thornton City Council in the form of the unofficial election results. In the November 5th election, Jan Coleman defeated several challengers in the race for Thornton Mayor. Heidi Williams was term limited as a reminder. In Ward 1, Jackie Phillips won re-election. In Ward 2, Julia Marvin won. In Ward 3, David Acunto won. In Ward 4, Adam Mikowski won re-election. Adams County certifies the election results 22 days after the election. The next Thornton City Council meeting is December 3rd at 6 p.m. At that meeting, the new mayor and city council members will be sworn in. This special edition of Thornton 360 is focusing on Thornton Police and Fire. First, the newest addition to the Thornton Police Department's fleet. They're incredibly quiet, so when folks go out to the green belt, they go out to the open space, they want to enjoy nature. They want to hear the birds, they want to hear the leaves. Uh, one, two, three, these are our three electric motorcycles. Uh, these motorcycles here are going to help us increase safety and to uh, better patrol the open space, the green belts, and the parks so we can get more officers out there. Well, unlike a bulky patrol car that's on the, they still fit, but it just takes them a while to turn around and they have to go much slower where these electric motorcycles can zip around um, rather nimbly, they're, they're great tools for our impact team members to use all over the city. We don't want to scare people when they come to enjoy the beautiful parks and green belts that we have here in Thornton. So this is a way for us to be able to get out and about, but without disturbing everyone. It's a great way for us to be able to be efficient, just to leave less of an impression we were even there. Thornton PD was recently awarded a grant, and a portion of it will be used for an additional canine officer. Here's a look at a unit that's, forgive the pun, rough on crime. It's been great to have this new substation here. It's a good spot for our canine unit to be right now. We got our nice obstacle course out here. It's good obedience training for him. We were lucky enough to have some students at Bowman Tech build all the obstacles for us, and it's been great. We can use them to do building searches, area searches, tracking, narcotic searches as well. There's just a really vast amount of stuff that they're really able to help us out with and help keep us safe doing. Me and my partner, Canine Bricks, have been on the road uh, since October of last year, so been uh, deployable on the road for about a year now and I got him three months prior to that um, training them up getting them prepared. The dogs they're with us 24-7 uh, they come home with us every night and they live with us at our homes. At home they're just like us they enjoy their off time too like to have fun at home rolling around on the floor playing with their toys hanging out with any other pets or animals that we have and stuff like that. They're just extensions of our family. Hi buddy. Yeah it's a good job. Good boy, yeah, yeah. With cold weather upon us, Thornton PD asks you take steps to make sure your vehicle doesn't vanish in a puff of smoke. This time of year, it's all too common. Empty driveway disorder. Empty driveway disorder, or EDD, is caused by puffers. Puffers are vehicles left running unattended with the keys in the ignition and the telltale puff of exhaust. The Thornton Police Department wants to make sure that you or someone you love aren't a victim of EDD this year. So please, don't leave vehicles running unattended with the keys in the ignition. Side effects include not having your vehicle stolen by opportunistic criminals. This PSA brought to you by the Thornton Police Department. It's flu shot season. Here's a reminder from Thornton Fire to make sure you and your family get your shots. As first responders, it's important that we stay healthy so we can respond to our community and keep you healthy. And part of that is getting your flu vaccine. See, it's that easy. Thank you. So stay healthy and get your flu vaccine. 
The mayor's holiday food and sock drive is on now through December 12th. Non-perishable food items can be dropped off at any Thornton Fire Station, the Thornton Community Center, the Carpenter Recreation Center, the Trailwinds Recreation Center, and the Thornton Active Adult Center. New socks can be dropped off at Thornton City Hall. For more information, visit gocot.net slash connections. Once again this year, the Thornton Police Department is taking part in the Christmas Crusade for Children, playing Santa to some Thornton kids in need. Without community support, this program would not exist. I mean, we need community donations, whether it be monetary or toys, clothing. Uh, all of these donations around us come from the community. What the officers do during the course of their duty is they run into families that are obviously less fortunate or struggling financially or having issues in the family where they're not going to be able to provide for a good Christmas for their children. So the officers take it upon themselves to sponsor these children or nominate them through the Christmas Crusade program. And then what we attempt to do is get uh, at least three to four gifts for that child through our Christmas Crusade program. And then the officers are required to deliver on duty in uniform so they can help develop and foster those relationships with our young people in our community. When you knock on that door and you're, you're there with a huge bag of presents, it, it's just a great feeling to see the reaction from the children, you know, the, the wide eyes, the big smiles, you know, the thank yous. Um, that's very rewarding for our police officers. From Santa Claus. Cool, you must have been a good boy, huh? You know, they have a lot of uh, volunteer opportunities with the Christmas Crusade for Children. First of all, you can, if you'd like to, you know, donate toys. We accept them year-round. We have a storage uh, where we will store these toys until Christmas time. Or just contact us through the Community Relations Unit uh, anytime uh, leading up to Christmas and ask what our volunteer opportunities are. We have a lot of wrapping opportunities, sorting. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, sorting all the different clothes sizes. We've just got a lot of opportunities where we get prepared to go out and fill those lists for those children. And then wrapping is just a huge uh, volunteer need for us too. In all the years that we've participated in the Christmas Crusade for Children program, we've sponsored over 12,000 children in our community. And uh, we hope those numbers grow from year to year and we're always here to help. And I don't see this program going away in any time soon. So, you know, in all these years we've been participating, helping 12,000 kids is very rewarding to us. Another successful year for Thornton Fire's T-Town Clowns, the characterization team brings a message of fire and life safety to more than 2,500 elementary school kids throughout Stop. Thornton. Stop! Drop! Cover! Roll! Stop! Drop! Cover! Roll! Very, very nice. The 2020 firefighter calendar is now available and features two Thornton firefighters. Like a group of guys here at Thornton thought that we should all try out for the calendar. and In the Colorado firefighter calendar. So we uh, decided to try out. And then uh, we're in the month of May with uh, Adam O'Leary, who's another firefighter. I mean, it feels good. You get teased a little bit. Uh, yeah, it was pretty crazy. I was just kind of excited. We just got to have a good time with it. And I mean, I gave some to my family. Uh, they were supportive, so yeah, they bought a couple off me, like my first sales, I guess you could say. The whole thing's new to me, um, but it's all for a good cause, so I'm willing to do it. Uh, mostly for Children's Hospital, so this is something great I can do to help out. You can get your calendar here at Thornton City Hall in Fire Administration on the third floor. It's $20 and benefits Children's Hospital. Thornton police officers are taking part in No Shave November. Here's how this unique event benefits charity. So this is No Shave November, and the Chief has signed off on a special order 19-01.1, and it's allowing specifically for us to be able to have facial hair, and the ladies can wear uh, fancy na nail polish. Each officer that you see that has the growth, or the female officers that have the bright colored nails, um, they've donated money from their own pocket, and that money is going to go directly to Law Enforcement Torch Run to benefit Special Olympics for Colorado. Um, it feels good. It feels good to give back. It feels good. It feels community. That's it for this edition of Thornton 360. Thanks for joining us. We're going to leave you with a look at the road Thornton took to the recent ribbon cutting for the new Trailwinds Recreation Center. We'll see you next time. Really, this is just an ongoing effort to have wonderful recreation over here on this side of town, which is in our major growth area. We're going to add about another 100,000 people to this area. Obviously, we have to have more recreation because that's truly what people move to the city of Thornton for. So starting construction now, ending 
by November of 2019. And I'm telling you, this is your goal because I will be term limited in November of 2019. And I want to be at the ribbon cutting, no pressure, but please, please stay on schedule. And, and you know, dinosaurs and everything, great, but keep us on schedule. Um, because I really want to be there for that. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for being here to help us celebrate the opening of this great facility. And if you were at the groundbreaking, you heard me tell staff, make sure it's done by November since I'm going to be termed out um, later that month. And so here we are, November 1st. Thank you, staff. Thanks to every, the contractors and everyone. I also just want to thank the City Council for all of their support, not only of this facility, but all of our facilities um, that we've built over the past eight years. It's been a Really a uh, great, amazing honor to serve the city as your mayor, and it's really been an honor to work with the people I have, and so that part I will miss. Thank you all for being here, and I really look forward to celebrating lots more years in this facility with you. Thanks. One, two, three.